In Darksiders, you play the role of War, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. In the beginning of the story, the horsemen are implicated in the destruction of the Earth. They are punished for this because it was not meant to be destroyed yet. They stumble onto it, basically a conspiracy between heaven and hell. As a punishment for what happened, you're uh, stripped of all your powers and sent back to Earth. And war kind of has to start a little weakened. You do start off with your legendary sword, but you don't have your horse, you don't have all your abilities. By the time you get back to Earth, after being punished, the apocalypse is over, the people are dead, the Earth's destroyed, it's a complete wasteland. And war has to prove his innocence and kill everyone until he gets the answers, find out who betrayed them and redeem himself and get his divine powers back. And you start in a little more familiar setting, you know, some crumbled buildings, some torn up streets. And as you go deeper and deeper, it gets more and more crazy into like demonic realms and angel fortresses. It's kind of like a fantastic comic book story of the end of the world. Angels and demons are somehow involved and vying for control of these petty humans. And we took all that thing and just weaved it into a story that was extremely compelling. Characters are really important in Darksiders. I mean, you're fighting demons, you're fighting angels, you're fighting ridiculous mythological creatures that have really never been imagined before. What Joe brings to the table is pretty much unbridled creativity. Translating Joe's style, I mean, this is an amazing style. Characters would just stand there and they look like they're gonna just get at you straight away. We need to translate this into 3D. Boy, that was a challenge. But we did it through lots of iterations, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, I think we have something pretty, pretty amazing. When you start with a character that's already awesome, like a Horseman of the Apocalypse, and it does that translation to it, it becomes even cooler. We wanted to create a visual style that was unique, more our own. It's more stylized, it looks more like a cool comic book adventure or graphic novel adventure. It's, I think, the coolest thing that I personally have ever worked on.